shooting bags come in all shapes and sizes, but only one of them will change the game. What I want to talk about is a bag called the Game Changer by Armageddon Gear. If you guys haven't heard of Armageddon Gear, I'll post some links in the description and I'll post a link to where you can pick up one of these bags yourself. Um, Armageddon Gear is a big supplier to the Precision Rifle series. You'll they sponsor probably 90% of the events and you'll see, I guarantee any match you shoot in, you'll see their gear on the prize table. Um, the length of the bag is about seven, eight inches and the depth is about probably five or six inches. What's really noticeable is the weight of the bag itself. Uh, the bag probably weighs about two, about three pounds, maybe a little bit more. And inside it's filled with talents. Uh, on the top of it, you got two main straps. You got a smaller strap on the top and you got a larger one on the bottom. The concept of that is this, the top one here is gonna go over your scope, the smaller one's gonna go over your barrel, and what it does is it locks the bag onto your rifle. Because it's rather heavy, when you put your rifle into the bag, you can use this V here to put it in awkward positions. Uh, this is perfect for like barricades, uh, fence posts, this works well. Another thing is if you center this in the rifle, say you're, you're up around the magwell area somewhere, and you center this over that, this will actually keep your rifle attached to whatever you put it on. That's because of the weight itself. This bag isn't gonna make you a better shooter, but it will assist you uh, felt recoil, uh, spotting your misses downrange, that type of stuff. Plus it stabilizes the rifle. Small little carry handle on the side, you can uh, clip a carabiner on it, clip it onto your bag, whatever you want to do. And uh, you can use this either way. You can use this this way and use it on like a fence post. If you're shooting off a drum or like a small barrel, something that you can't get your bipod and a rear, a rear bag underneath the rear end of your rifle, you can actually take the bag, flip it over, and now you can rest your rifle in the middle. And you still have straps. You, these straps are removable. You can take the, uh, the straps and run it around the two handles on each side and you can strap your rifle into the V itself and you can set it on the table like this. So now your gun is locked in on a flat surface. You can use a corner of it if you want to use it for just a rear bag itself. You can fold it like this and you can use it however you want. It's kind of like a wedge shape. So it's got multiple different uses and uh, it's a pretty awesome bag. All right, what I did was I flipped over the table here. Uh, I don't have a barricade set up with me. And uh, we're gonna take some shots up the hill at 500 yards. These are 66% uh, IPSC, so not a full uh, IPSC, but maybe uh, 20 by 12, somewhere around there. Hopefully you can hear the impacts. I'm not gonna use a, a, a fat bag or a pillow underneath my elbow. I'm just gonna concentrate on getting the rifle up here with the Armageddon gear bag and uh, letting the bag do most of the work so you guys can see how easy it is to make hits. You got two main straps. One for the rear by the scope, and then one for the barrel. You don't have to strap this down if you don't want, but if you got time to set up, uh, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't make any sense to not strap it down as far as I'm concerned. The only issue you have is if you gotta do mag changes, it's kind of hard to get in to the magwell. So most of the stages we shoot in are 10 rounds. Um, and that is what I have in my magazine. So I want to give this a little bit of slack. That way the bag has the ability to, to actually flex and mold to whatever object I'm shooting off of. So uh, let me set this up for you. See now the bag is the bag is centered on the rifle close to the magwell. And now you can see the gun's basically just sitting here. I can actually just hold this and shoot from wherever. So we're set up. I don't have any rear bags under my elbows or anything like that. The gun is basically just sitting. One other thing that makes this kind of tricky is that if I was kneeling to be comfortable, I would have to be a lot lower. So I'm kind of trying to lift myself up to get a decent shot, which is gonna make me even less uh, stable than I typically would if I could pack myself down into a tight little compact ball. We're gonna take some shots at 500, and uh, we should be able to make some, some good hits. So hopefully you guys can hear it, because I don't have another camera with me. And you can actually take your hand and, and set your hand on top of it.
intact. Impact. Switch hands. And I can watch the bullet the whole way. So it's giving me enough, uh, it's, it's absorbing enough recoil to actually be able to let me see where I'm hitting. So let me try another uh, uh, position. We're gonna do something on a pretty flimsy little table here. Having that V in the bottom of the bag here allows me to rest it over anything narrow. And then we'll get onto the barrel and I'll show you another way to use the bag. So this is pretty unstable. I don't have any rear bags behind me, just this point. And you can see that this is basically balance in itself right here on this kind of crappy chair. So let's take a few shots up here at 500 again and uh, see how we do. The one thing I promised myself I was gonna work on this winter was being able to get better positions. I bought the bag in late fall and uh, it seems to be helping me out quite a bit. Um, let's take a few shots. Now it's starting to pour. Hopefully you guys can hear the impacts. Probably would have made some sense to put my earplugs in, huh? That scared the shit out of me. Alright, let's try that again. My ears are ringing. Let's move over to the barrel. Here's another pop, popular obstacle you're going to see in a match, and the reason for that is because you get your you get your bipod up on the barrel, but you don't really have a whole lot back here in order to uh, to put a rear bag under you. So it's kind of caught in between the two, where you would want to kneel and almost go prone, or, or like a kneel and prone, like something like this. Uh, the barrels they use are a little bit smaller. Uh, typically they come up to here somewhere so uh, on this barrel I could probably make it work with a rear bag but we'll pretend that uh, we got a smaller bag or a smaller barrel. So the, the bag itself has the V on the bottom which is good for the chair. If you flip it over it's awesome on flat surfaces where you don't have the ability to get the rear bag underneath the rear of the gun. So I got three bullets left we're going to shoot up at the 500 again. I'm just going to flip the bag to the V and now I can get my gun into the V itself and now the bag is going to basically do the same thing just flipped itself over so um, let's take a few more shots 500 yards at the 66% uh, Ipsic As you can see, I got nothing under me down here. The bags in the rear are really what gives you the ability to lock yourself in position to get a stable position while you're kneeling. I don't even have that. So the bag is just centered on the rifle and it's basically holding itself. Just because the magazine is where the middle point would be, so it's still a little bit back heavy, but I don't really have to do a whole lot with the bag itself. I'm just holding it and the bag up front's doing itself or I can use this hand to lock it into place. As you can see, I'm not even doing anything back here. I'm going to take a shot like this without even holding the, the rear. I didn't even have the gun in the pocket of my shoulder. 
Hey guys, I found a perfect little spot here to, to test out this Armageddon Gear Game Changer bag. It's just a post, uh, and I got the Game Changer bag just sitting on top of it. As you can see, it mold positions, and it gives you a flat shooting area on top. And if you can center your rifle, the rifle just sits on the, on the bag there, and you don't really have a whole lot to do. So, up on the hill we got 500 yards. Sorry for the fog. Uh, temperatures are about 50 degrees and over the last two, three weeks it's been like 10, 15 below zero. So we're getting a lot of fog. Uh, my lenses are fogging up terribly, but I just drove an hour and a half to get to the range to, uh, to show you guys this bag and I want to try to complete it. So we're gonna take a few shots, 500. You won't be able to see it, but you should be able to hear it. And uh, we're just gonna give it a whirl here. As you can see, like I said, the gun just sits there. I'm just gonna line it up. Alright guys, so that's the Armageddon gear bag. I'll post the links in the description if you guys want to check it out. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.